Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, editor Scale Modeling Now. So welcome to this Inbox Browse for one of the new re-releases by FX in their Vintage Classic series. Uh, this time of the 24th scale, Messerschmitt BF109E. Now, if you are of a certain age, you will remember this the first time round, like I do, when it was released. And it was the dream, it was always the dream to be able to afford to buy one um, or be given one for a present. Uh, when we were younger, and you'll know that they had all sorts of, uh, I think the Spitfire came first, and then you had um, others like the Hawker Hurricane, and now I've already done a really in-depth build of the Hawker Hurricane, uh, just uh, revisiting it really, I suppose. I never built it when I was a youngster, and it was just fabulous to have a chance to have a crack at one of these big super kits. Um, now much uh, further down the line with uh, the current skills that the, that, that we, we've got. And I think for me, that's just, um, one of the uh, the great things about this kit, uh, that there are many, many modelers out there who would love to have a crack at it. Um, it can be a bit daunting when you look at it, um, but actually it isn't, not really. Um, so let's have a look at what, what we get in the box, shall we? Let's just pop this one off to the side. Um, now, of course, um, I haven't looked up when this was released, but as you can imagine, 60s, 70s, something like that. Um, so inevitably the moulds are very old and as a consequence um, you're going to get a number of different um, I suppose uh, outcomes from that. One is that there is a lot of flash and you can probably see some of that around uh, some of the parts. Um, not not insurmountable, it's easily trimmed off so I, ne I never get too excited about things like um, uh, flash to be honest. Um, having said that um, if you just come over to the wings there are uh, one or two defects in these. There's some uh, nice little sinkholes there, which you can see. <laughs> sink marks, I should say. Sinkholes are quite different. I think we all fall in. You fall in those, and they open up in the middle of high streets and stuff. But no uh, sink marks over there. Uh, but nonetheless, um, that aside, um, you get some fairly reasonable detail. You get quite a nice surface detail. You get uh, some raised rivets um, and recessed uh, rivets, but it's mo mostly mostly raised and, uh, and and a mixture of, as I say, of, of raised and. Uh, Recessed, you've got some fabric effect on the wings here. Um, just coming uh, inside, you've got uh, a rudder that you can offset, which is quite useful to say the least. You do get um, you do get an engine, um, which is, is useful. We'll get to that in a moment, but you can see here we've got some of the engine bearers um, and we've got details for the guns, the MGs, magazines, um, spinner, of course. Um, you do get a pilot if you want to add the pilot. It doesn't actually look too bad, and he stood up quite well in the, to the test of time, but that's up to you whether you want to add him or not. Um, and if we just have flick this over, I don't think you get any sort of detail on the, the side walls here. So you're going to have to um, look at creating that from um, the cockpit uh, parts as is, and then adding to that. So if we come across here, we can see this massive great propeller, which, which looks pretty good. And we've got uh, engines, but you do get some decent sidewall detail here. You can see here you've got things like throttle levers, you've got other various details. You've certainly got uh, a decent enough instrument panel. You get separate instruments uh, on the decal sheet, which we'll have a look at in a moment, which is good. Um, yeah, so actually it's it's really not, uh, not too bad. Um, of course, there's no uh, belts on the seat, so you can add those. You will need to add those uh, yourself. In fact, you don't get any um, decals for those, so that's fine. You know, it's perfectly possible to buy the aftermarket or uh, make your own. You've got um, got the MGs here. I mean, again, you might want to replace those, um, but you know, with some careful cleaning up, you know, you could probably make those much more presentable than they they look. Of course, you've got the big uh, Damon Benz engine here, um, and so on. So actually, if I pull out, that's not the parts count is really not that great. So it's other than the fact that you've got some big parts to, to play with, given the scale, it really isn't um, uh, too bad from that point of view at all. So it's not a complicated kit. It's a question of how far you need to correct or you want to add detail, really, which is the issue. Uh, it's good that um, in the, uh, the kit as well, you do get, um, I haven't actually taken them out yet, but basically you get um, the square or the rounded uh, canopy for probably an E3 or E4, actually. Um, so I haven't looked or reminded myself of the differences between a, uh, a BF109 E3 and 4, but one of the most notable differences is that um, 
rounded canopy for the E3 as opposed to the square centre section here, which you, you get on the or most E4s. But again, as with most, most things Luftwaffe, nothing is ever uh, quite straightforward. Um, what else do we get? We get uh, rubber vinyl tyres. Um, so love them or hate them. In fact, there's plenty of help in the techniques bank on how you make these look really realistic. And I would check, I ask you to check out the... Um, um, the build in SMN for the Hawker Hurricane that I did because I've shown uh, some videos on how you can make those look really realistic, which is good. Uh, decal sheet is excellent. Um, the current uh, FX decal sheets are stunning. They are absolutely top of the range. I, I think they might even be produced by Cartograph, but they're not marked, I don't think, as Cartograph, but who cares? I, the fact is I've used them multiple times now and they really, really uh, go down well. Uh, and of course, you've got the uh, the classic sort of schemes. You've got, of course, you've got yellow 10 on the box art. If we just come back to that, you see that cracker, isn't it? It's a classic sort of Battle of Britain type uh, scheme. Um, so this is uh, one of those uh, two options that you can see on um, the sheet. Um, let's have a look at this one. This is actually um, scheme B, which is um, helmet uh, wicks. Um, JG2, Richtofen, uh, France, Belgium, October 1940, around about the Britain time. Uh, that's a really interesting scheme, that one, because you've got all this sort of stippling which you can create on the side, which is uh, uh, an interesting challenge, which is good. A uh, little diagram there showing where the uh, separate dials go on the uh, uh, instrument panel, which is good. And then if we flip it over, we can see scheme A, which is the one on the box, um, which is uh, for a JG26 aircraft. Uh, again, for the Battle of Britain, summer 1940, an E3 that time. In fact, that's an E3, and is this an E? Yeah, that explains it. So we've got the E3 here, which is the JG26, or the um, JG2, which is the E4, which you can see over here. Um, the instruction sheet is incredibly uh, simple. Um, as, as, you, as, as you've seen, the aircraft isn't that complicated in this kit. Um, and so actually it all does build up quite quickly, I think. And it all depends on what you want to, to display. It'd be really interesting to see, for instance, if you can just, just take off the, can the uh, cowling to expose the engine, and if that fits uh, quite good, uh, hence the real need to make sure you clean up well there, uh, then that would be quite a nice feature so you could actually see the engine. The cockpit, as you can see here, really isn't too bad. Uh, you get quite a bit of detail in there, but there's certainly plenty of scope to add more. And then you've got um, gun bays here on, on the top for the twin MGs that, that sit on top of the cowl. Um, and then you've got those for the wings, as you can see here. A um, bit of work to do probably on the undercarriage legs. Um, I think you need to add brake lines. Yeah, you would need to add brake lines to those. But nonetheless, you get a really decent base uh, to work from, I think. And I have to say, this is definitely going to get built. It is in my schedule. Uh, won't and can't say too much more at this stage because I'm juggling a few projects and just uh, getting back from uh, losing two months to a really uh, nasty back injury. But we are on the road to recovery with that. Um, so hopefully we can get this into the schedule this year. That's uh, that's the plan. Um, anyway, I hope you like the uh, the uh, the review. Um, you can get a stand there in case you're wondering what's in that bag. A good old classic black stand. Um, but uh, I, I love it. I, I, I just am so impressed that they, uh, the Airfix have decided to re-release some of these um, great uh, big super kits. Um, so I know the Spitfire Hurricane and the 109 now are currently available. And I think if you've not got one, then it's definitely the time to get one. Um, and hopefully um, you'll enjoy the build when we get to that. So that's Airfix Vintage Classics, Messerschmitt BF 109E. That's an E3 or 4 that you can do from the kit in 24 scale.